What's going on, everybody? I'm Lamb. This is Lamb Levity. And I was scrolling through the park one day. Scrolling through Twitter. And I came across a story that I cannot believe. I cannot believe. The Breakfast Club may be no longer. What I saw was a tweet from Angela Yee. Everybody's talking about it. It's trending right now. Those that don't know Angela Yee, she's one of the hosts of The Breakfast Club. Power 103, is that the station they own? I'm not in New York. I don't know sure where the station plays. I've never listened to them on the radio, but I've watched them on YouTube every morning. Every morning. The tweet right now has 4,000 retweets as I'm doing this, 18,000 likes. She says, The Breakfast Club, as you know it, is officially over. What does that mean? Now, does this mean that she's leaving? Which some people might be happy about that. Because if you watch it every morning like I do, there is a bit of tension sometimes. She doesn't like for anyone to, like Charlemagne, and, and it tends to jump in her stories and comment on them, commentate on them, because he's a commentator. And she seems to get a little bothered by it. She wants to just continue with the story and have no one respond to the stories, it seems. But I wonder if she's leaving, because it was in the past her and Charlemagne got into it, I heard. Wasn't there a beef between the two? I'm not trying to put any rumors out there that there's a beef between the two. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just speculating on what's transpired. Why would she make a, a post, a tweet, without any, without any extra, without any um, expounding on it, that the Breakfast Club, as you know it, is officially over? This isn't a press release. This is her tweet. This is a Trump tweet. It's just like Donald Trump. She's tweeting an official change, if you will. I don't know if it's a resignation. I don't know. But I'm curious about it because I like them. Now, I will say, outside of the, the tension that I sometimes feel between her and Charlemagne, I do feel like Charlemagne has outgrown the show. Anybody believe that? Anybody, anybody feel that way? Or is it just me? He has his own show, Hell of a Week, which used to be called... Um, God's honest truth, but they come back for the second season. They call it hell of a week. He has that. He has a whole lot of other stuff that he's doing. He's he he has his own um, podcast network or something like that, is doesn't he? And doesn't he, doesn't he have some? Doesn't he have some type of leadership role or ownership in in the in um what's it called um iHeart or something like that? It, it seems like the the more that Charlemagne, the more success that Charlemagne has had. As he's grown, he's outgrown the show. That's what I think. Charlemagne, to me, has outgrown the show. It seems like DJ Envy has been kind of the lead of the show, the moderator, kind of the boss, if you will. But the more Charlemagne has gained more notoriety, he's more he's mainstream. He's on he's making he's on the cycle of going on a, being invited to shows to the View. When have we seen? Have we ever seen DJ Envy on the View? Good Morning America, any of those places? interviewing the vice president or the president. Nope, Charlemagne gets those gigs. Why? Because he's surpassed his crew on The Breakfast Club. It's not a bad thing. His career is going in the right direction. He's grown in popularity. He's a, he's a fixture now. He's an advocate for a lot of things. He's a voice, if you please. He's a big voice. And that and Angela Yee and DJ Envy are not that same voice. A lot of people don't even know who the hell they are. But a lot of people do. New Yorkers know. People in Jersey know. But a lot of people don't. Charlemagne, dare I say, is not just black fans, but I think he's white famous too. People know that name, Charlemagne the God. Real name is Lenard McKelvey, but Charlemagne the God. People know that name. Um, I posted, I think I posted a house tour of his former home on my real estate channel, real estate channel where I do real estate celebrity houses. Uh, maybe I put the link up somewhere. Put the link up y'all check it out. Shameless plug. But what are your thoughts? What do you think? Do you think that Charlemagne has outgrown the, the uh, show? Do you think that something has caused Angela, Lee, Angela Yee, who's a real estate investor? Um, she has different businesses as well. Something has, does she have cannabis? Something has caused her to leave the show. 
Um, the DJ Envy, which I doubt this one has left the show. He does car shows. He has a lot of. He does real estate invest. He does a lot of stuff too. Are they all just ready to go their separate ways? We um, Desu, Desu, so whatever his name, and Mero, they just broke up. A lot of podcasts, big podcasts, are breaking up. A lot of voices are no longer. Kevin Samuels perished. His voice is no longer. I do hope that this is not the case with The Breakfast Club. I hope, I hope that this is not the case. Let me go back on the, uh, let me go back to Twitter and see if there's an update now uh, uh, about this. See if anybody's saying anything about it. I really hope this is a joke because I get my news from them. A lot of news I talk about on this channel, I get it from the Breakfast Club because they are a current up to date source. And not only are they a current up to date source, Charlemagne is, has his pulse on politics and social issues. He's no longer that, that, uh, that Wendy Williams type character that goes in on every single body and asks the super, super hard, disrespectful questions. Now he asks the, dis he asks the hard questions, but it has merit. Has mm behind it, hooks, but if you please. He's a great journalist, uh, in my opinion, commentator, great interviewer. I love to see, I guess everyone needs to just go to Hell of a Week and watch Hell of a Week, his show, if indeed the Breakfast Club is gone. Hell, y'all come over here to Lamb Levity. Come on, come on. Subscribe if you're watching this. Go on, do it. Subscribe. All right, so the story is Angelie has said that the breakfast club is no longer i don't see any further comments on here so perhaps when we um in the next day or so something else will come of it some more there'll be an update right before that she did say god is good so maybe where's an argument or fight all we can do is we're all speculating i'm speculating i'm looking forward to watching the show in the morning to see if it comes on this is a very smart thing to get everybody to watch it in the morning and listen. Get those ratings up. All right. I'm Lamb. This is Lamb Levity. I keep you in the loop on what I hear. Let me know what you hear. And this is a sad day in America. Peace out. Thank you.